Hi, this is Courtney Act. I'm from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6, and today I'm going to do a Mild High Club Sorority Girl inspired look for Halloween. I'm going to do a little smoky eye, a nude lip, but I'm going to add a little glitter for some festive holiday punch. Watch as I go from this to this. I'm going to cover up my eyebrows. This is kind of Drag Queen 101. Uh, unless you shave off your eyebrows, which I don't because I, I like to wander around the day with eyebrows. Call me old fashioned, but little glue stick, run it through the brow. Now I'm what they call a nub queen. I like to leave a little bit of a nub just here in the corner and then I base my lady brow off that. I take a comb and I comb the glue in the direction of the hair, like so. And then I just smooth it over with my finger. While I wait for my brows to dry, I start on the bottom half of my face. So I just use a light liquid foundation as my base coat, just on the bottom half of my face. I love these so much. I never, I used to use a brush. I've like got an airbrush at home, but these are just like, they're really nice. They just give you a really nice skin texture. Nice and natural. And when you are putting your foundation on, you wanna pat, you wanna bounce, I believe is the correct adjective. You wanna bounce your sponge up and down. You don't wanna drag, because that gives you streaky lines. You just wanna bounce it around your face, lightly patting. And make sure you sort of do down here. You don't want like a Mary J. Blige line down here. We often forget that other people can see us from other angles than directly straight ahead. And I think that's important when it comes to makeup. Have you seen those like mirrors that they like, like you can see like 300, 180 degrees, I don't know how many degrees of your face. Um, they're really scary, um, but that's what you look like to other people in real life. They can see from here and here and here and here. So it's always good to like, just check, check all the bits, blend it down there. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of a highlight. And my makeup's very subtle, but it is slightly more than chapstick and mascara, contrary to popular belief. I don't think I'm nearly as beat as a Kardashian, but uh, I do like to use a really light highlight color. And I have three, I have, actually I have four sponges, which I think is probably excessive. Most people probably use one, but I like having four and they're different colors, so I don't get them confused. I'm gonna take my highlight color and I'm gonna bounce the sponge on my cheek, taking it right up into there. Bring it up under my eye. This highlighting and contouring, I know we've heard so much about, but it's really what gives you like that carved out sort of three dimensional face. I do my top lip. Sometimes I take it nice and wide for that full Kylie Minogue pout. And then when you blend it, blend again. And then when you think you're nice and blended and smooth, just blend again. Now I'm going to start doing a little bit of contour. I'm just gonna cut out this cheek with this brush and you just kind of like do that tick coming down like from just above the top of your ear and then under the cheek like that. I have a convenient little scar here from where I ran into a barbed wire fence when I was about six years old and I always like to use that as my, my guide. I do under the lip as well. So you probably know this, but light colors bring things forward and dark colors recede things. So. I'm doing light on the top of my lip and dark under my lip. So it's like, it, this dark light creates a shadow. So it's like, oh, big lip. And this brings it forward. So it's like, oh, big lip. So in the end, you just can, can end up like, oh, no. Yeah. I feel like Alaska. Now I'm going to do a little, oh, I kind of broke this one. It's a bit janky, but I never want to know what to do. I don't want to just throw it out and waste it. So I kind of like just awkwardly like, push these little like nuggets of brown foundation around the pan for the next six months, begrudging it every time. I have quite a prominent jawline for a lady, a bit, a bit of a Reese with a spoon. Reese with a jaw, really. Um, a lovely jaw, I'm not, I'm not jaw shaming her. Um, but I like to sort of take out that jaw and just soften it down a bit. Then I take this itty bitty, teeny weeny cute little sponge and I just use this for my nose. So that was the highlight down the bridge of the nose. Now I'm going to use the contour down the also bridge of the nose, but like the, the side bridge. There's a lot of nose shading culture amongst drag queens. I don't do the ski slope. I don't do the exclamation point. I just do like a nice, not that the others aren't nice. I just do, I, I contour around the bottom. I sort of like 
feel like I want to like make my nose like a little like so I just kind of I shade across the bottom of it some people go all the way down and that kind of like gives you like a nose that goes on forever um, but this nose seems to work with my face and I'm not talented enough to do the exclamation point nose because every time I try it just looks like I have an exclamation point on my face. You know when I do my makeup in the mirror and I have to hold my skin taut, I think I'll never be as old as Bianca Del Rio. Now it's time to blend in all of these lovely lines around my face. Have you seen Hurricane Bianca yet? Speaking of, I can't wait. So with blending the cheek contour, I like to use the pointy end and just sort of like, I blend the contour down into the bottom and then I blend the highlight down into that. So I just keep bouncing and bouncing and bouncing until it sort of just blends in. I have this argument with queens all the time about the amount of contour. I, like my best friend in Australia, Vanity, she's like, you don't contour enough, you need to contour more. But like sometimes I'll be in like broad daylight or like flirting with guys. So I always just like the flirting with guys wins. And that's why I wear a nude lip because you can pash a guy, that's Australian for make out with tongue. You can pash a guy in drag and not have red lips all over your face. I am going to continue the contouring and highlighting process on the upper third of my head. Now I'm going to use some of my contour color just to go over my eyebrows because you can see like they're flat but they're not colorless yet. So I'm just gonna like bounce over the eyebrow. So I've just got a little translucent powder on my puff and I'm just going to delicately sort of press it in to my eyebrows and then I'll just dust it off. I'm trying not to get it everywhere else but getting everywhere else. And then I'm gonna continue on with my contour of my brow. I try and like squeeze the sponge and just get it in there, like in that little corner. So that nose contour comes up there and into there. And then I bring it up into the hairline to create what we in the industry refer to as the beige rainbow. So you sort of just making a little rainbow here. And this is bringing the shape of the forehead sort of down and sort of enclosing it so that it looks smaller and petite and more feminine. Now this next bit, I don't know why I do, but Matthew Anderson did it on me on the set of the AAA Girls music video. And so if it's good enough for Matthew Anderson, it's good enough for me. I bring the contour under my eye with my little brush and continue it out like that. A little spot of highlight in the middle of the forehead and blending outwards. All right, that is my highlight and contour on my foundation done. Now I'm going to powder it. I like to use a, um, it's a translucent powder, but it's still a little, has a little bit of like color to it. And I find that that helps with the blending. It just kind of like, just takes the edge off the blending. And then I just dust off the excess with my brush like so. Now I have finished with my foundation. I'm going to draw on my eyebrows. I've recently revolutionized the way I do my eyebrows. I'm gonna draw in the top line first and uh, then work backwards from there. I used to do my eyebrows with a angle brush and foundation, which I thought was good. And then on the bots tour, Miss Fame did my eyebrows one day and she used a pencil and I kind of liked that. My eyebrows on Drag Race were really thin and I was like, what were you thinking with those thin eyebrows? Now I have like a Dor Delano slash Matthew Anderson inspired eyebrows and I love them. And then I go and sort of fill this in lightly. I use a little foundation brush and my highlight color. I think I might have learned this off Raja, actually a video of hers. And I use that to basically carve out the negative space in my eyebrow. Thereby creating what scientists refer to as the eyebrow. I don't like to do the bottom line of the eyebrow with this pencil. I like to do the bottom line with the white and then I kind of go and fill in on top. Now I just have like a little short little stubby brush that I kind of blend the product that's already there. And this kind of, for me, creates that sort of RuPaul inspired um, ombre brow. The final step to my eyebrows is taking a darker pencil. This one's chestnut and you wanna make sure it's nice and sharp because I'm gonna draw in little hair details. And that is my eyebrows. All right, now it is time to move on to the rest of my eye. I'm gonna take my highlight color and just sort of continue it down on the, uh, the brow bone here to make that pop. And then I'm going to take a highlight color 
in a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to bring it under the brow like so. I also bring a little bit of this highlight just on the inside bottom corner of my eye. It's at this point in the makeup process that I really decide what I'm gonna do. Cause I do this every time. And then this is where I start like doing something specific. I'm gonna put this sort of color, like this is my brow bone and this is my eye lid. And this here is what I call the socket or the crease. And like my brow bone is, is like here. So my actual crease is like here. But I wanna like extend the lid and I wanna make the eye bigger. So I'm kind of gonna paint on this line sort of more like here on the bottom of my brow bone. It's kind of like what I did with my jawline. Like I contoured that out. I'm gonna like contour this brow bone out and that'll open up the eye more. And I kind of take that line from like the corner of the eye up to like the bottom of the eyebrow. I don't take it too far in here, but that's just my face. And then I also wanna take it under the eye. So it's like a full uh, full, I don't know, thing. And then you kind of blend it up into that highlight color. Remember earlier I was saying about how people can see your face from other angles? Well, this is a trick, like literally I've been doing drag for 16 years and I just worked this out in the last 12 months. I can, I take this line and I continue it up like that in there and then like continue it over there. So this is like all joined. I used to do like the top and then the bottom, but I didn't join the two. So there was always like this gap on the side. So now I'm going to rim <laughs> uh, the under of my eye with this black soft pencil. I'm just gonna do this. Uh. So now I'm taking a little bit of a matte black eyeshadow and just blending out that rimmed line under my eye. And then I blend that with my pencil brush that I was using before. Now I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner to do my top liquid eyeline. This is harder than it looks. Ow, it's also harder than usual. And when you're doing your liquid liner, it's liquid and it takes a while to dry. So um, you have to sort of just like go like this for a while while it dries. There comes a time with everybody's liquid eyeliner where you just accept that they're different, but they're similar enough, because if you keep trying to fix it, it's bound to go horribly wrong. My new favorite thing for glitter application, well, I used to use uh, eyelash glue. I would paint that on before I did my liquid line, and then I would paint my liquid line over the top. But now I've discovered these little like glitter pens, which don't have enough glitter in them for a regular human being, but they act as a good glue that you can then stick glitter to. Press the glitter on with a little angle brush like so. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the glitter under the eye. Actually, I'm gonna take a lot of the glitter under the eye. I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker brown, a matte darker brown, and just sort of bring it into the crease just to accentuate that line now that I've done the glitter. Have you registered to vote, America? I mean, obviously, if you're in Switzerland, don't bother. But, I mean, unless you're American, but you need to register to vote. This is important. I'm gonna get political. I've lured you in under the false pretense of fun and joy and makeup, but actually this is a call to action, America. It is very important, not just for you, but for the rest of us in the world. And for those of us who live here, but don't have the right to vote, people are like, you don't even go here. Why are you talking about politics? I'm like, well, that's why I'm talking about politics because I live here and I'm gonna be affected by the future of the American government. So I encourage all of you to go out Registered to vote. It's closing soon. Wait, I was doing a makeup tutorial. Sorry. So, blush. I've got this little cute brush and a little matte blush. It's like a light, soft pink. And I'm gonna start on the outside edge of my face and I'm gonna slowly work it in toward my apple of my cheek. I also bring a little bit of the blush up onto the temples. Just a teeny bit, a little bit on the chin and just adjusting on the end of the nose, just to, I don't really know why. My mum told me to do that when I was like 14 and doing theater makeup, not drag theater makeup, theater makeup. I don't know what it does, but I just did it. 
This is one of my favorite parts. I'm going to add a little shimmer to the high point of my cheek to give it like that glossy, dewy, I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm actually wearing a ton of makeup look. Softly and gently dust it onto the high point of my cheek like so, taking it all the way up into the hairline. Now I'm going to do my mascara. I start by getting the mascara wand at the root of the brow. I give it a little shimmy and then I bring it out. I'm gonna overdraw my lips and, uh, and create a nice sort of full lip line. I like to color in the corners of my mouth just to give it more depth. It's just like a light sort of shimmery color. I'm only gonna put that in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to use an angle brush to sort of like blend it out. You know who told me to do this? Paris Hilton. We hung out in Australia back in like 2004 for a couple of months and she got me onto lip gloss. I never used to use lip gloss before. How crazy is that? Fun fact, I've made out with Paris Hilton. I forgot about that. We were at a party and I was dressed as a lady and we patched. Oh yeah. Look at those lips. You just want a mug for days. Now I know how Alyssa Edwards feels. I'm nearly done. It's just time for like a smart eyelash. And like, I'm not going on stage today. I'm, I'm here doing a makeup tutorial. I'm filming a few other things. So I'm gonna just do like a nice light eyelash. If you're going on stage, you do things bigger. If you're not going on stage, you can do things smaller. Now to do eyelash glue, I'm gonna put a little bit of the eyelash glue on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to drag the eyelash through the eyelash glue, just like so. And then I just wanna drop the center of the eyelash on the center of my eyelid. And gently place it where I want it to go. All right, now I finished my makeup. It is time to plonk on my uber eye, my wig, so I can go from this to this. Ooh, I should put fingernails on. So this completes my Mile High Club slutty sorority girl Halloween inspired look. I mean, you would complete it by putting on as little clothing as possible, uh, getting white girl wasted and vomiting in your own hair. But that's why I've got a short hair on so that when I vomit, I don't get it in my hair. Unless I uh, take my hair off and then I vomit into my hair, like using it as a hat. But I just use the hat for that. I wouldn't vomit into the hair. That would just be stupid. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.